So the vine house now has a lot of the more tender potted plants inside it. I've taken out, these are what tomatoes were in. These are all ex-tomato pots. And I lit for the first time. Oh, this is my wonderful clematis that is my uh, door blocker. Thirsty dogs drinking out of the rainwater tank. So last night or yesterday was the first time that I lit my old kerosene heater. So it's lovely and warm in here. The sun is out. It was pouring rain earlier. So geraniums are in here. All kinds of things are in here. The last tomato is ripening. Uh, the last of my eggplant or aubergine are ripening. A few of the remaining tomatoes. Then these are wonderful plants. I'll trim these all back. And you can see if you go down in that there's regrowth inside. So I'll trim these all back. Trim these back and they'll live in here where they're tender. When the tomatoes are all done, they'll move. These are the, my seedlings. These are two year old, two or three year old babies that I sowed. They're the pineapple plants. So they got frosted, which is fine. They'll die back. I'll have to repot those. Then my wonderful cactus flower thingies. I can't remember what they're called. Hopefully they'll survive, but they got frosted. These are the tender agapanthus came inside. My lemon tree, which has been inside a while. Um, these are, hopefully these didn't get frosted too badly. I'm gonna trim them back and hopefully they'll rejuvenate. Over here, those are potted dahlias. These are the pineapple plants. That's, um, I'm gonna be stupid. I know what it's called and I just am being stupid. Um, another dahlia, another dahlia. So all the tender plants have come in. And um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the last of my tomatoes to ripen, finish ripening. And then I'll clear all these out. And those I can turn into tables to put plants on. And... My cucumber things I can store away. I have to clean up my detritus pile. This is, um, this goes into the compost, all this. You can see that's all that. So here's a strawberry with a hazel seedling in it. This is doing amazingly well. Hopefully it won't, um, this is gonna, I flung a tomato stem. That's a tomato stalk. And I was trimming tomatoes. This is doing amazingly well. I might repot this up because it's lovely. This is doing very well. Um, there we go. This is doing very well inside. This geranium smells heavenly. You pinch the leaves. Oh, and it smells like you're walking through a peppermint field. I love this geranium. So these are all going to get trimmed back. Maya's at the door wanting to get in. Do you want to get in? Is that what you're trying to do? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> Here's my pumpkin. These are, this is the potting soil from this year's tomato plants. Uh, these are begonias are in this. They were frosted back. Then here's a whole load of cuttings. Oh. I forgot to do that. I was going to repot these geranium cuttings. I'll do that this morning. These are more geranium cuttings that are coming along. These are all cuttings that seem to have taken. I will keep taking, uh, pruning off their flowers because um, it gives them more impetus to put strength into their roots. So I meant to pot these yesterday and I didn't. Hopefully they'll do okay. So here's my garlic. 
my sunflowers. So it's slowly but surely the we're going from autumn to winter in the vine house with a lovely winter sun happening outside. Oh, and just so you know, these black barrels are an old fashioned way of heating the vine house and keeping the frost at bay because the black barrel and the water absorb the heat from the sun during the day and then release it during the night. And that's why I'm gonna have a third bin I'm gonna put over there somewhere. So they're throughout the vine house and they will help heat. It's a kind of ambient way of heating um, the uh, vine house as well as having that. That is gonna end up going against the wall. So the wall heats up and then during the winter when it's really cold, the heated wall will project the heat back into the vine house. Uh, Cause I have that on a black slate against the wall back there. But uh, I'm gonna do that when the, um, uh, once the tomatoes are done. So that will return to its location. Cause I found that was the best way in it, the, it would warm that wall. And then in the night, the wall would project the heat out into the vine house. So I think that's about it. Um, and my um, baby apple trees are all doing well. And Bear, I think, has found a shrew or a mouse or something. And I've got to lock this up to keep the wind from opening it. Isn't that right, pup? Yeah. There you go. There. And we're going to have beautiful flowers from my doorstop. Isn't that right? Yeah. Oh, 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 my baby oak trees. I got these oaks, I planted a whole, I collected like I think five different oak trees down at Johnstown Castle earlier in the year. And there's, here's some seedlings coming up there and there. Hopefully I'll get more, but these are my three oak tree seedling pots. The buckets, by the way, have holes in the bottom. And these are cheap one euro buckets and they're perfect. You can carry the seedlings around, but they're, the seedlings are here in a kind of sheltered area as if the wall was its parent tree. So there we go. I should really plant this foxglove out somewhere. It's self-sown. There's a beech tree. You can see that's a beech tree right there. Anyway, that's a bit of what's been happening in the garden. What are you doing over there? Okay, yay, okay. Another year has passed. And this will be the first full year I've had the vine house. So I could grow seedlings in it all the way to mature vegetables. Last year in 2021, we only got the roof on at the end of May. This year I had a full year of the vine house and I'm so pleased with it. And it's you guys on YouTube. You guys on YouTube helped me buy and pay for the parts and the building of this wonderful resurrection of the vine house that was initially put here in 1928 by my great grandfather. So thank you all to all your views. That's what your viewing has done. Thank you.